big game today, not necessarily in the context of getting the top two, but it could be a big game to make sure we get a playoff spot. Let's get to it. What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of the Fire Gal Let's Play. If you're excited for this episode, hit the like button down below and subscribe and delete everything on the channel. Down below for your channels down below with Queer Mode every day and also my non football related let's play channel which has got Elden Ring on there on Monday it starts um, all being well um, I'm going to die every single episode hundreds of times so if you want to see me just fail mass insanely bad say a lot of times then feel free to go check it out as well so we're on the cover vision screen there because nothing we should talk about really at this point so games on camera um, I'll show you it's easy to do that when trying to preempt it Lost 3 1 to Gillingham. We went ahead in this game though, but I don't know how we lost this game 3 1 because we were really good in it. Um, could, be a, could be a lovely little strike in the bottom corner there. And we were dominant for the first half, really. And then, second half, we just didn't quite uh, perform to our best. Keeper coming out for the ball on the guy on the line, doing nothing to about it again for, for 2 for 1 1. And then a simple ball over the top, and we just don't track the runner. And then he goes and fires this in brilliantly. It's a great strike from Gillingham, making it 2 1. And then it became just. Gillingham dominating the ball for the last 20 minutes. And the start of that, they did get, they get their third goal to win the match. Keeper comes out for it, doesn't go near it. Good finish from Lloyd. 3-1 Gillingham. But, um, yeah, disappointing result. But wasn't the worst performance I've ever seen. We did beat Cambridge by two goals to nil, though. And it's actually a, a quick double strike at the end of the first half. Hardy in the box here. Lovely little finish uh, into the bottom corner for 1-0. And then literally, I think it was the next highlight. After that, we scored again. Second down the right-hand side. He then gets a bit of space to get the ball in the box. Falls to Hardy. Back to Kamara. Bruin turns. Paces the back of the net. 2-0 against Cambridge. Bounced back with a good, good result there. Um, apart from that, wasn't the most exciting game on the planet. We probably could have scored at least one more. But 2-0, clean sheet. We take it. So, the table looks like this, guys. We're getting a bit cool drift now, the top two which is what I thought would happen this season. But we beat Rotherham, Rotherham today in his first live com. We will open a really good gap over them in the playoff spot. So it won't secure the playoff spot today, but it'd be a big step towards it, I feel, if we can win this match. Even if we don't win this game, we're still five points clear of them, and I still fancy us getting the playoffs, playoffs anyway. So Rotherham, I'm actually going to change to the game, guys, to, to the team today because fitness reasons um, and... But still, it's not a bad team we've got out there. Uh, I'm, thinking about, I'm thinking of putting Cooper... Actually, on the left, I prefer Garrick on the right-hand side. He's played better there. So, let's see how we get on today, folks. Hopefully, we can get the win. Um, it wouldn't secure, like I said, but it would be a big moment, big step towards securing the um, playoff spot. So, uh, go out there and impress me. Yeah, I, mean, I don't expect to win because they're a good side, Rotherham. The right brands in the tail by, by one position. We're fifth, we're, we're fifth, they're sixth. So, it's not a big... It wouldn't be a huge shock if they were to beat us or we'd struggle to beat them. But I think we're fully capable of doing it. And Bolton's just really not started well there with getting the ball away. But anyway, here we go. Um, hopefully, the team can perform today and get the win we need. Randall. This is not the first team either, either but needs must. Tomlinson. Edwards. Cooper. Assel. Oh, I've... Oh, wow. Oh, well, yeah, that was anyway. Anyway, I thought I was going to play a ball through to somebody, but then the shot didn't think I was really on, but nearly. Hamlinson. Cooper. Look at the space he's got to run into here now. Look, a chance to get the ball in the box if he's quick. Too slow to get the ball in the box. Edwards. Cooper. Blocked. Back to Cooper again. Been cleared. We're getting more of the ball now, but we're not creating a single good opportunity yet for any of them to score. Randall. Curls it in the penalty area. Cleared. And you've got to get that ball. You've got to bring him down. You can't let him do that. You've got to bring him down. And that's just this is the goal, I'm, I'm telling you now. Oh, he's gone wide with it. It's still a goal. Oh, wow. Yeah, you've got to bring him down there on that counter attack. You can't let him just run through like that. Garrick, Assel, play it forward. Too slow. Garrick's got space down the right-hand side, though. Can he pick it across to Ennis? I don't think he would have scored anyway. If he got into the far post, I don't think he would have scored it. I think it would have been blocked anyway. To the, to the, for the five, five post shot Mandel curls it in Garrick's in there clear Tomlinson first time pass out wide see there's no reason that could be the first time there's no reason to, there's no reason to play, play a short pass there half time it's a very even game and it's not a very good one either in terms of our team performance we're not we're just not creating anything um, so I'm going to be testing on on and I'm going to bring I'm going to put Astle on that side and bring on Ryan Broom 
and keep Hardy on the bench. Uh, I want to give him a break. Yeah, we're just not playing well enough. We, we're getting the ball in the right areas, but it's like they're hesitating to play the pass. Or when they're under attack, they just don't want to run, run out of position and try and get that ball when it's clearly theirs to get. So there's a bit of hesitancy across the pitch today. Um, and hopefully that will change the second half. Last chance. There's not been, there's been poor in the attacking areas and there's, there's not played the... But, what are you waiting for? No, we don't want to draw. We want to win. Kills it in and it's been cleared. Session gives it back, fires it in again. Bolton fix it on and it's just that kind of performance. No one's really trying to be. Yeah, the, the, the final here with his safe pass at yeah, full time, probably with nil rather than nil. I think it's a fair result. I don't think they need to win it. I don't think we need to win it either. We're just too timid in the final third. We just didn't. No, not unlucky. That was not good enough. They got the ball over the areas right so many times, but they just did, didn't play the right ball. They, just, they were just too hesitant to play it. Um, anyway, um, more come next. We've got to be better than that. But we kept them at arm's length at least, Rotherham. Right, guys, match number two, and we're playing Morecambe, we're 23rd in the table, so you know what's happening here, don't you? If you've had everything for more than five minutes, you know what I'm on about. Um, we can still get top two, but I think it's a long shot. To be fair, the fact when the playoffs is long is, 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 is incredible. Um, and, yeah, let's just get at it and see if we can get that win today. Um, we know the system works. No, the players are good. We need to get more depth in the, in the areas that... More quality dev, essentially. Excuse me. So here we go, folks. Um, at home to Rover, uh, to Markham. Three points on the line. We're close to nailing down our playoff spot. We just got to continue and get get try and get two wins in a row. Would be nice in the league for a change. Obviously, comes out today, obviously, because we drew the last game nil nil. But um, to avoid two defeats, to avoid defeating two games in the league would be a step in the right direction. Is Hamilton, I can't pronounce this guy's name. Remember when I signed him, I can't pronounce him. It's like, I just go, hey, dude, um, good job. Or, hey, dude, not good job, dude. Bolton on the ball now. There's a whole Bolton's player in that team, guys, by the way. It's just a good ball to Garrick. Down the right hand side. He's some support. He's got Assel arriving the penalty. It was goal. Yeah, with the header like that, he was never get the power behind it, was it? But nice little move from Garrick again down the right. Down, down the right. Long ball by Morecambe. And he's got time to bring that down. Bolton heads it to Kamara. Now Grant. Bolton. Get, get moving. Get moving, Garrick. There we go. There's a bit of movement like that. You're in. Garrick. Sessignon. Now Garrick. Sessignon dinks it in. To Mayer. 1-0. Plymouth 1. Markham 0. It felt it was coming. Uh, just the way we started and looked really good in the final third. And what a ball that is. Um, and a good header. 1-0 against Markham. Garrick as well get the move going. And then just looks at the runner. Sessignon gets here now. Finds Garrick. Dax is on first time cross. May gets the movement. They try and play offside there. He's got his hand in the air as a defender. But it's 1-0 to Plymouth. And that's a goal we desperately needed. You see how close he's on side. How close he'd be on side offside here. Nowhere near. What's number two? Up goes the hand. He's trying. To, I think. They, I think they put an offside trap. I think. At least they thought it was offside. One of the two. Carson long ball at the pitch. Win that header. Hamlin. That's probably not. That's probably not completely. Mayor. I like a second goal relatively quickly to try and just ease the pressure on us a little bit. I so play it to Garrick if you can. Uh, I think he, would, uh, he waited too long on that pass there. That's, is this is Assel's fault if he, if he scored from this. The ball was on to Gary. He's, he's just got to play into the space for him. We're trying to press them, but we're not following. No one's following up behind them, and no one's got. Someone come across and get this ball. Okay, never mind. Fork up. Yeah, there's solid run inside, and nobody in the middle was thinking, you know what, I'll go across. That could be a problem. Bolton. Play it forward quicker. You don't have to take touches in against Morecambe. There's plenty, of, there's plenty of space to get the ball forward quickly. Garrick, nice turn. Hardy, again, brilliant ball. I was, I was hoping you saw it. To Signon, Garrick, that's not a penalty. I don't think if that was VAR, I don't think they give that. But Hardy's got a chance to make it two 0 here against Morecambe. Big moment in the game. And he finds back of the net. Plymouth 2, Markham 0 in what I think is a very, very fortunate penalty. Um, it's his 20th goal of the season. What a player he is. Um, but I don't I don't think that's a penalty. I think it'd be interesting to do that if we had VAR, which we often don't in this league, if they were given that. That looked like one of those where you, you think it's a penalty, but it's not. It's not. Sessignon. Bolton. Sessignon. Hardy. Again, just too slow to just 
move and be physical and get, get the ball forward. Maya, Kamara, bit of pace there. Oh, the like, acceleration. That's, oh, what the pass is that? I do think at times these guys just play passes without thinking and not looking. That's what I think they do. They just think, oh, he'll be there. Oh, I'll make that. And they don't actually think about it. That's ridiculous. I'm sitting on, play the pass. You're not a dribbler, uh, guys. We pass the ball. And then, once again, it's out of mistakes. Hit the post. Concentrate, Sessing on. How do you head it on to nobody? Concentrate. Again, throw in. Be right, be right, get man marking them. But they don't, you can't man mark from throwing if it feels like. Again, should be on them straight away. Not let, not. Yeah, on you straight away, on you straight away. Good football from Morecambe, this. Get tackling. Again, you've got one job. And they've scored. One job. Literally, he stood right there looking at him. Plymouth 2, Morecambe 1. I don't get fullbacks this year. I really don't. Um, look at him. What are you doing? You've got one thing to worry about. Him. And you're not even... And I, don't know, I don't know what you're doing. Absolutely ridiculous. Berate him. You've got to see that fullback run. Great ball across and finish after that. But you've got to man mark that guy. You cannot just let him run past you like that. Half time with a better team. A little period of the game where they got back into it from a really poor defensive mistake from us. Just not tracking the one guy that's closest to him. Um, I'm going to say Duncan Compassion out there. It, it's just. I don't know what it is about this team. They have these moments every game. It seems like a minute where they play really well and then they just slack off for two, 20 minutes and then they just ease off. Um, and we tackle him. Again, tackle him. Just, but then again, if, if, if book gets, gets stuck in on, you get yellow cards, make cards every five minutes. So, I don't know. We are comfortable. You've got to kill this game off, though. Hard is down the right-hand side. Or bit time, can he finish it? Hold it up. Finds Garrick. Falls two. Oh, man, I thought he's still going back in the net. That should have been free. Oh, don't you dare. Well done, Cooper. But again, this game should be a game we should be walk walking through and breezing it, but making it hard for ourselves again. Mayer, get the third goal, lads. Just score a third goal. Play the ball forward. Into the space. There's options. Get it into the space. There you go. First hand cross. Hardy, surely... Those are kind of moments that we're, we're having now where we don't, we're not clearing games off. That's got to be it. That's got to be a goal. There's no reason they shouldn't score that. It's insane. I've got tighter marking and get and get stuck in on. And they're just standing off people again. I don't understand why every team we're playing against is playing well against us at the moment. There we go. Get a tackle in. Garrick, great ball to Hardy. Can he finish it off now? Don't shoot. They just make, they're making one decisions all episode. It's been like, instead of holding it up, they've been shooting and then vice versa. They've got to be better decision making. That's the only problem with them today. Is they're not making right decisions. Um, they're panicking on the ball. They're not working hard enough. Keep the, the I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to just waste time here. Because this team is really struggling now. It can't keep the ball against any side consistently. I hope we win this game now because if we see the goal now, it'd be a joke. See that ball. Keeper's got it. That should be a full time, but that's not good enough. A team second from bottom has come here and has out players for about 60% of the game. Um, not good enough. Not We're not keeping the ball well enough. And that's a poor pass. That was never. Okay, they're ignoring the instructions. Where's this time come from, referee, by the way? It's only a minute. I remember that much time. That's, that's how I play. Full with the ball whistle. Every bullet whistle. Full time. Plenty of two, marking one. Not good enough. No, I'm not I'm not praising him after that. That's not gonna got away with that one. I mean, that's second from bottom, Morecambe. And they've come here and they've played as better better than us. That's not good enough. Did all of them lose drop points? Did they did they even play today? I don't see them on there. I don't know if they drop points, I can't see it anyway. But that's not good enough. Um, we cannot have a performance like that. In a game like that, we've got to be better than that. Um, you look at the stats and again. I want to see it again because I think they have they have more position than they should do. Morecambe have had a bottom, a bottom of the table. What was the actual position position stat there? So we'll look. 
nah, it wasn't that. It can't have been that. They had more on the ball than that. They had more highlights than us. But 2.83 for HD, we should have cut that game off. Um, but we didn't. And they are bottom. What, was their, what is their recent form looking like up until now? Let's have a look at their form. Has it been good form? They barely won a game and they came and outplayed us at times. Nah. These are the kind of problems we've got to ditch if we're going to get, if we're going to get promoted or get in the playoffs. But looks like we've got a, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight point lead. Did they drop points at some point, Rotherham, recently? After, no, they dropped points against us there. I don't think they've played yet, have they? No. Anyway, um, let's see, let's see what comes, what's coming up next, guys, next episode. So, we'll do four again. Bolton, Augustine Stanley, yeah. We'll do Burton and Oxford next episode. Are they above us in the table? No, well, Oxford are, but Burton down there. So, I don't think we're going to be able to get um, top two. I think playoffs is what we're going to be finishing this season because they're not good enough to do it, um, which we knew. It was a, it was a f big overachievement to get this high in table this early on. So... If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. And I'll catch you all in the next episode of Montan. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.